The Princess Who Could Talk to Animals Once upon a time, in the kingdom of Alhamra, there lived a kind and gentle princess named Amina. She had long, flowing hair as dark as the night sky, and eyes that shone like the stars. But what made Amina truly special was her extraordinary ability to talk to animals. From the moment Amina was born, the animals of Alhamra recognized her. Special gift, birds would sing sweet melodies when she walked by, squirrels would playfully scurry around her feet and even the regal horses in the royal stables would nuzzle against her with affection. As Amina grew older her bond with the animals deepened. She would spend hours in the palace, gardens, surrounded by butterflies and bees, engaging in cheerful conversations. She knew their worries, their joys, and their secrets, and she considered them her dearest friends. One day, while strolling through the gardens, Amina overheard a conversation between two rabbits. They spoke in hushed tones about a hidden meadow beyond the hills a place rumored to hold a magical flower that could bring happiness to anyone who found it. Amina's heart swelled with excitement. She knew she had to find this magical flower, not just for herself, but for her kingdom as well. She immediately called upon her loyal steed, a majestic white horse named Zephyr. As she whispered her plan to Zephyr, the horse neighed in agreement, understanding her every word. With Zephyr carrying her swiftly across the hills and through the valleys, Amina embarked on a journey to find the hidden meadow. A wise old owl told her to follow the North Star, while a playful squirrel directed her to a sparkling stream that led to the meadow. After days of travel, Amina finally arrived at the meadow. It was a breathtaking sight colors of all shades adorned the landscape, and the air was filled with the sweet scent of flowers. In the heart of the meadow stood the magical flower abloom with petals that shimmered like gold. Amina approached the flower with awe, her heart brimming with hope. She spoke to it gently, sharing her wish for happiness to be bestowed upon her kingdom. As her words filled the air, the flower began to glow, radiating a warm and comforting light. Suddenly, a soft voice spoke from behind her. You have a heart that understands the language of nature, dear princess. Amina turned to find an old woman with kind eyes standing beside her. The woman introduced herself as Fazilla, a guardian of the magical meadow. Fazilla explained that the flower's magic could only be unlocked by someone who possessed a pure heart and a deep connection to nature, moved by Amina's mission and her ability to communicate with animals. Fazilla granted her a single petal from the magical flower. This petal will bring happiness and harmony to your kingdom, dear princess. But remember, true happiness comes from within and is shared with others. Grateful and humbled, Amina thanked Fazilla and carefully placed the petal in a pouch. With Zephyr by her side, she journeyed back to Alhamra, her heart lighter than it had ever been. Upon her return, Amina scared the story of her adventure with her parents and the people of the kingdom. She spoke of her encounters with animals, her bond with nature, and the wisdom she had gained from Fazilla. The people listened with an admiration, for they knew that Amina's kindness and connection to the world around her were truly remarkable. With a joyful heart, Amina placed the magical petal in a crystal vase in the palace courtyard. As the petal touched the water, it released a burst of radiant light, filling the air with an enchanting melody. The people of Alhamra felt an overwhelming sense of happiness and peace, and the kingdom flourished like never before. From that day on, Amina continued to be a beloved princess, cherished not only for her ability to talk to animals but also for her kind heart and wise spirit. She spent her days tending to her gardens, listening to the stories of the creatures, and sharing the lessons she had learned about happiness, harmony, and the importance of connecting with the world around us. And so, the kingdom of Alhamra thrived under the guidance of Princess Amina, a true embodiment of the belief that when we nurture our relationships with nature and spread kindness, we can bring happiness not only to ourselves, but to all those around us. Thank you.